Welcome to YDT. It's you, it's me. It's season three, episode 175 of a show which pulls back the curtain, takes down walls brick by brick, and exposes the true hearts of those caring for those you love most. It's Tuesday, and we are together. And every Tuesday, we share stories that are genuine, heartfelt, what's on our mind, my mind, and hopefully it connects with you. I don't know what we're going to do whenever season three ends and everything stops rhyming, but here we are. I'm glad you're with me. Let's jump into it. The joys of this job, it sure looks appealing. I mean, the numbers look great if you're looking at and gauging and keeping track of, you know, anybody. The idea of a large following is awesome. And it seems as if it's really easy to just pop out video after video. And here we are, right? (laughs) wrong it's about this whole idea of perception being reality and in all reality it's perspective and had i known (laughs) you know the the lens we look and experience life that's our perspective that's our perception but it should be our perspective i say perspective now because i was told to shift and we'll we'll get to all that but i assure you the numbers look great yes uh, having 500 well, however many thousand i don't even like to say the word because it's still unique for me when people say nathan what do you you're you full-time social what do you i'm an influ- i'm a create uh, uh, uh. i'm on social media yep i'm an entrepreneur yep and it doesn't take 10 minutes to release video it doesn't take 10 minutes to do the video and then 10 minutes to do this podcast there's a content calendar that is packed with strategic content that we know you want to hear and know about we pay attention to you in the comments and speaking of i'm really excited to have filled two of the three seats for the mastermind if you are if you are not making seven figures if you're in the funeral profession if this meets you and you want to if you long to get into the funeral profession if you long to own a funeral home one day but maybe you're in there and you're not making seven figures, then you need to click the link in the show notes because we are taking one more seat. I am personally going to assist you and we're going to take a deep dive and I'm going to share all the things that took us from six to eight figures in sales, from CRMs, to processes, to experiences, to hospitality, to all of the errors that we made. You don't know where you're going. If you don't know where you've been, fill out the application. I have one more seat left. I'm really excited about it because... People have asked everything from what hair product do you use to what tie do you wear to what suit? I mean, like there's a responsibility we all have, our actions, right? They have reactions and arguably I have a deeper responsibility because I'm here and you see me right here on, which by the way, you can watch each and every one of these podcast episodes on YouTube at Nathan Morris Music, which has been so much fun. We show up and I randomly pop in on the lives. It's been really interesting. And just last week we did a giveaway on the vinyl there. I was in Louisville, Kentucky and just decided to go and give business to local businesses in the Louisville area and just so happened to drop some vinyls in the area and gave away a bunch of hints on Instagram at Nathan Morris. And, uh, really fun to see people get the vinyl. But you can get the vinyl right now. Click the link in the show notes to do that. Yeah, it's, it's it all seems like a plug, but it all ties together. Just show up. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you did show up. Last week we talked about the coroner outside. And today we talk about perspective over perception. There's all these really cool memes where it looks like someone's stabbing someone in the back and in all reality it's their shadow and they're patting them on the back. It's just how you perceive the world. Perspective is where you hear and you have compassion for and kindness toward, and it's not a swift response. 
meaning you're not quickly judging. You are slow to anger or slow to develop a, a thought, a, an opinion, right? Perspective, I encourage you. I encourage you to, to strive for that. How you perceive the world? No. How do you, how do you, how do you have a perspective that is not closed-minded? Closed-minded is laziness. My uncle, I remember growing up, it's like, oh, when you're shy as a kid, it's cute. When you're shy as an adult, it's lazy. Well, it's being being easily influenced as being lazy and and actually really dumb and ignorant. So that's my, that's it. That's it for the day. No, it's not. It's not. We've, we've had a lot going on. It is the Christmas season. I don't know if you celebrate the holiday, if you celebrate Christmas, whatever it is you celebrate, I welcome you here and I meet you here because that's, that's what we're put here to do is to create a sense of community. And I hope the community that I have allowed each of us to be a part of is one of inclusion and kindness and you can't help but acknowledge the spirit in the air. Not the spirit that is on the road right next to the brick and mortar and people are going nuts because they don't know how to use their turn signals and people aren't patient and people aren't letting you in front of and you're going shop. I'm not saying don't shop at a brick and mortar. I'm, I'm just saying you could get that online. <laughs> You can get that online really, really uh, conveniently. And speaking of, click the show notes because I have some really cool stocking stuffer guides in the show notes. Some of my favorite stuff this year. There's a, there's like a ratchet. There's a, I say ratchet. Yeah, it's a wrench set. There's, there's some really neat stuff that that I'm a big, I'm a big stocking stuffer guy. I mean, I really am, and I, I really enjoy people putting in effort. Anybody can fill them with Hershey's Kisses and Reese's, which are delicious. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if that's what you're going to do, but like having intentionality behind some really thoughtful, but also practical gifts. I'm a practical gift giver and receiver. I don't need anything. You know, people, every year my mom tends to freak out. She's like, what do you want for Christmas? Oh my gosh, I just don't know what to get you. You're a grown man. It's so hard. I'm like, I don't need anything. Like, that's not a lazy answer. I don't need anything. I have it. I have everything. I have everything I could ever want and more. And I don't need anything. I want to give. I just want to give and give and give and give and give. Oh, yeah. Squirrel. Each week we go live on TikTok. Subscribers only. It's really fun to just hang out. And all of you are giving me a lot of grief about how I'm able to. (laughs) It's like I'm just in this la-la land. It all makes sense up here. It all makes sense up here. Today was, well, you're hearing this today. Yesterday was Navy's birthday, turned five, five years young. I remember, I remember his birth. I I remember just his little cute, almost red hair. It was red. It was red hair. And now it's more blonde but still just as beautiful. He is the one for me that when I picture his face and his little freckle on his chin and his little sort of raspy voice, it it could easily choke me up. He is just the one that gets gets to me. He's so special and He's the third and he's the, the, the one that in the very beginning, we were so, so close. And I always run into this with all four of the kids. You have these seasons of being really close with the boys and then they want, you know, they want their mom, but then they want their dad and then they want their mom, dad, dad. You just don't ever know what season it is. And for the past little bit, he's not been, I wouldn't say close, but you have seasons in relationships. So same with the children, but he's just the one that really tugs on my heart strings. And yesterday I got him, he loves like texture and shape and, you know, he just puts his, the, the toy on his face or whatever. And, and then I got him this really cool ball and it had ridges on it that I knew he would like. When he opened the gift, he gave the ball, little ball to his little brother, Bear. 
and I thought it was so sweet. And they played together and they played, you know, Hot Potato and Navy, who is, well, everyone, we're all selfish, but he was like, me, me, me. I mean, he was, there's my present, but here you go, Bear. It's so sweet. I mean, it's so sweet, you know? Then when I gave him a hug and I said, happy birthday, buddy. Daddy loves you so much. He said, Daddy, I love you. Thank you for my surprises. <laughs> it's like, shit. Ooh. I mean, it's so beautiful. Which leads me to this Instagram post that I posted of yesterday about it. About how no desk plate or suit collection. That's not what I want around me in my later years or in my final days, what I want is are my kids and family. And this is the season of that, of recognition for, it. and that is the spirit in which I'm talking about. You don't have to believe in a formal religion or practice of faith. It's undeniable though, the, the spirit, this a little bit more loving, a little bit more compassionate for. I mean, the air almost feels different. And you can't deny that. And I'm listening to this book on Audible from Dr. Edith Eager, which is, she's the famous doctor that was, as a child, a survivor of the Holocaust and Auschwitz and her and her sister survived. Her mother and father did not, and they perished. And the book is called The Choice. And as I listen to it, chapter after chapter, I'm I'm reminded I have no excuse. And and she discusses how every day at the concentration camp, it was, well, tomorrow I'll be free. And then when freedom came, it was like, well, now what? And then this whole new need to create this identity and this life. And the reminder, the realization that everything is a choice crept upon her nearly a decade after the Holocaust. The choice is how am I going to handle this, react to this, respond to this? And it comes to everything in life, trauma and uh, grief or anger or how do I respond? Like I literally have, that is the one thing that you cannot take from me. You all can take everything from me. You all can stop buying the merch. You all can stop listening to the podcasts or streaming the videos. You can stop everything. Arguably that stops my job, but you can't take away in my mind the knowledge, the passion, and the response. That's up to me. It's been inspiring, awe-inspiring. I went for a walk yesterday, and I was just listening to the chapters, a couple of chapters of the book. I'm on chapter 16, and I moved, and I am reminded this Christmas holiday season, this season in life, it's all a choice. Every single thing in life is a choice. Tomorrow is done. Or t today, today is here. Yesterday is done. Tomorrow hasn't even happened yet. But what are you, what are you doing? Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, just sitting in uh, what? Like, what? If only tomorrow. If only yesterday. <laughs> it's like, No. This is me saying this to Nathan, like, no, like right in this moment, all I have is talking to you in this microphone on this episode 175, looking into the camera. This is all I have. Tomorrow doesn't exist. Yesterday is done. Like choose good, like choose, choose goodness. And... <laughs> I try so hard and that, that comes at a cost, you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough to choose good because the hardest thing, the right thing, they're the same thing. And people, 
we naturally want people's approval, attention, acceptance, and they're not <laughs> going to as a whole. And you see it for me in the profession. My gosh, on TikTok, you have the profession. These It's like the 50s and 60s, like 50 and 60, 50 to 60. They are just tough. It's like, here's criticism followed by zero construction. I welcome constructive criticism. I want so badly to learn how I can be better. Tell me. But don't tell me how I'm not doing well in your eyes, but then don't offer any type of, hey, maybe try this. I love and welcome. I welcome it. If you think, hey, maybe you should do this with your video, and here's why. You don't even have to say here's why. You'd just be like, I don't like that, but here's what you could do. That'd be great. I, I hear you. Thank you for the, for the comment. The profession is just terrible at helping each other, but incredible about helping total strangers. I think we can shift that narrative as people and just be kind not only to our family and friends, but to strangers. And just be kind to people. I, I think it's funny when I'm working all day, just talking about at the beginning of the show, talking about how it seems like 10 minutes, but it's all day. I'm in this studio all day doing videos and doing meetings and doing conference calls and doing Zooms and making content, editing content, recording songs. And afterwards, it's like I get out into the world and I just want to talk to everybody. I'm like, hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. How are you? Hi. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey. It's like a kid in a candy store. I want to be more present. And that's what I have been doing. And I want to be around people better than me and I want to be the best version of me. And every day I strive for that. And every day I obsess over you and I obsess over making sure that you know that I'm showing up to the best of my ability. And I thank you for doing the same. And family, when the curtain closes on this life, when the sun sets, whatever you want to say, it is family. It is family. After a decade, over a decade of seeing it, I'm truly realizing it and accepting it and acknowledging it and proceeding with that understanding. It's family. I love my sons, Anderson, Everett, Navy Bear. I love them more than anything in this world. And if that is the claim to fame for me, if that's the only thing I've done, <laughs> if everyone takes a test and survey and says, that's the only thing, I, okay, I, I will accept that. Until I breathe no more, I, I, I work so hard for them. And I show up for them and I show up for you. I show up for myself and I want you to do the same because you're worth it. And that's what I obsess over. And in this holiday season, as you breathe in the air, whether it's cold or hot, because winter time is so freaking weird, especially in the Midwest, <sighs> just be present. And you, as you, ooh, I got to chill, are, <laughs> is good enough. You're good. But then be better. Be better today than you were yesterday, and tomorrow be better if tomorrow will come. But for now, be here. Anyway, I, th this isn't a self-help podcast so much as where I am. And on the TikTok subscription, Sunday night lives, every Sunday we go live, five ninety nine a month. First looks, first listens, first watches, first whatevers. It's fun. It's fun to be present with you all. It is, and I appreciate that. It's really nice because you could spend your money elsewhere and you spend an hour with me and that means so much to me. And and this podcast as well. It's it's my way of just kind of getting out the thoughts that are on my brain. Yeah. Navy's birthday was yesterday. The Christmas season is upon us. And in this moment... You got a job to do. It's pretty simple. It doesn't have to be so difficult. Happy birthday, Navy. Your dad loves you more than life itself. 2024, I may experience it. I may not. But I'm excited because in this moment, I know that the future is bright. 
This day is bright, but the future is as well. Yeah. Each week now, we release Bonus Noise. It's our new subscribers only episodes where we get really, really honest over there. You can subscribe right now on the show notes. Click that. It's uh, $4.99 a month. You get episodes every single week. Yes, you do. And of course, be sure to follow me on all the socials and channels. And 2024 does does have a lot of really cool surprises in there. I'm listening to you all on the subscription at TikTok, you all have great ideas. And we're going to take those into... We're going to put those into effect. I'm really looking forward to that. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, sh- you being here, showing up, and being kind to me and supporting me like you have this year. It's been a shit year. Well, not a shit year. It's been a great year, but it's been a shit, <laughs> it's been a shit year. Yeah. And I'm, I'm grateful for you just accepting. So there is beauty in... There's beauty in the breakdown. There's a song there. Hmm. This is episode 175 of season three of Feel Bad Trying, and I will see you at 176. There won't be a birthday to celebrate on my end, but I'm sure on your end there will be. Yeah, you're good enough. You're worth it. You're love far more than you can ever know. See you.